Hey planner people, just wanted to do a quick flip of my March planner. Um, I'm using this um, beautiful Giulio Firenze planner. It's a special edition called Freddy and it's in the color Moss. And oh my gosh, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I had a red one like this and I sold it, but I couldn't pass up this green one. I was able to buy this on buy, sell, trade and I just love this green one. I've carried this all month. It's very um, kind of mean looking. You can see it looks like he has a face on there. You know, he's got a couple of eyes and some teeth. I really like it. And what was fun about this month was the Coco Daisy kit I used is very floral and pretty and delicate peach colors, you know, very um, not not what you would think would go with this um, very rough looking planner. So let's dig in. So on the inside, I've just got my pocket set up with some pretty Coco Daisy um, decorations. There has not been too much changed in my planner. I'm kind of going with the same thing mostly month after month now. So um, I'm making some plans to switch it up a little bit. I do really like the April kit for Coco Daisies, so I'm going to use that in a different planner. And after that, I think I'm going to be trying out some different inserts. So um, this has been working out really good for me. This is a Foxy Fix dashboard where I can just slip the notebook in. You know, this would be like quick things I need immediately, like toilet paper, which is probably gonna be on the list from now for the next, you know, four months constantly. But um, this is just something I could rip off and take into the store with me and start fresh. Here's a nice little dashboard. I added some ribbon to it. Here's my little montage dedicated to my cat, Sassy. Some nice uh, vellum. Moon phases that I got off Etsy. I have been really terrible with the Coco Daisy challenges. So I don't think I've done one this month. So shame on me. It's really been um, crazy, but you know, everybody's in the same situation right now. And it's just weird. So here is some beautiful acetate that came in the Coco Daisy kit. So I absolutely love this acetate. So this is something that when I put away my March um, inserts, I'm gonna keep this because you never know when you can pull this back out and it will go with another kit. And I think it looks really pretty over this dashboard. So then here we start our March. I do have some sticker paper in here where I keep some extra stickers. And then this is always with me, which I don't know why, because I don't look at it very often. Pretty much the only time this gets opened is when I do my YouTube videos. So. And this hasn't changed from my other flips. These are probably going to change in May. And I did pop in April's month view already because I was a little behind on getting April started. So I thought I could use this in my planner for a couple of days. But here is the one from March. And there was a lot of things that I ended up canceling. Obviously a lot of meetings canceled. We're not doing meetings unless they're over uh, teleconference now. We were using Zoom for a while, but now we've been told we can't use Zoom. So I've got, I like to keep the most current month on top. So then I still have all the way back to, looks like December, November. Yeah, November of 2019 is still in here. Oh, here's October, okay. So, <clears throat> and then here's the weekly section. And here's, I just really love this kind of distressed looking Coco Daisy dashboard. 
I didn't do a very good job using these sheets. I was, I'm always trying to think of a good use for them. Some people use them for meal planning, but I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants for meals. So I was trying to write down my school assignments so I wouldn't forget. I have a tendency to sometimes not start them until the day before they're due. And I could be using these better too. And that's kind of why I want to try some different inserts for May is I just don't feel like I'm utilizing these as much as I could. So then here is my weekly view for one week. And then we're back to these colored blocks. You know, I could be writing goals for the week or, you know, wrap up how the previous week went, things like that. And I just don't do it, so. Okay, so, yeah, you can see I started canceling meetings here. A lot of meetings just got erased or never written in because um, it was pointless. So then I kind of have some stickies about next month and what I'll be putting in because I need to get my planner set up for April, which I have not done yet. This is a really cute dashboard that came with the Coco Daisy kit. So <clears throat> They've been doing this uh, with one dashboard. Places to go, stay home, things to do, wash your damn hands, and moments of note. First day working from home. I work from home sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes I have to go in. I work in a lab, so some days I'm scheduled to do clinical work, and some days I'm scheduled at my desk. So if it's a day when I'm at my desk, I can work from home. Obviously, I cannot test patient samples from home, so then it's into work I go. So, people to see, nobody, and remember these things, social distancing. And I just added a little bit of cute um, ribbon on the side. And then here is my dailies, which I underutilized, I only had two this, this month. So I, I've been terrible this month with my planner. I almost didn't need a planner this month. And so now I'm in my notes section. So I have the usual bus schedule, which has now changed because they've cut out like half our bus routes and it's just crazy. <clears throat> so um, our start times for work, which is now also changed. Can't show you that page. That was phone numbers I shouldn't have showed you. Um, I'm covering up some things here that are just like phone numbers. And there's my vehicle maintenance and some orders and some work stuff under here that I can't show you. And I printed out some really cute note pages. These are from Annie Plans printables. And I just bought some of those, the dividers that match these. And I just haven't printed them off yet. They're super cute, so. I can't wait to try those out too. Here's my miscellaneous section. And I still have a tracker in here, but look, I quit after three days. And it really sucks too, because this would have been so pretty if I would have finished the whole month, because this is one of my favorite trackers that they did. Um, this was from Coco Daisy. It's like um, $1.99 on their website. Every month they put a tracker out there that matches the kit. So I wish I would have filled this in, but I just kind of failed in all ways with my planner this month. So, so here is a section for school. I'm very, very close to being done. It looks like um, one class I'll be done May 8th and one class May 7th. And so I'm getting really close. It's my last semester. Here's my section for lists. I have random things in here. And then I did a terrible job keeping, oh, these are from Annie Plans as well. I did a terrible job 
writing down my bills again this month. And I even have this nice uh, form that I'm using. And I still just did not record things. So I um, have some other notes. Here comes my cat. Hello, kitty. And that's just random financial stuff that I have covered up. And that's it. This is so boring. Um, I know you guys are going to be like, oh, why am I watching this? It's the same thing every month, just maybe a different planner, uh, different design on the kit. But um, yeah, I am going to be switching it up in May. So maybe it will be a little more interesting. I'm kind of in a rut right now. And, you know, like everyone else, I don't have a whole lot to write in my planner these days. Really, the star attraction of this video was my super awesome uh, Gilio planner that I absolutely love. So I just really like the contrast between the the planner and then the very floral, dainty looking kit. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna keep this one short and I'll be back in April with one more Coco Daisy kit. Not a Gilio planner, I have something different in mind. Um, but then in May, I'm really going to be switching it up. So talk to you later. Bye.